All right, well it's uh, about 5.45 on the last morning here. And uh, I'm gonna try one last shot at some uh, sunrise pictures. And um, it was real windy last night again. It's a little bit windy this morning, as you may be able to hear. And uh, I hate shooting in the wind. It's not, not easy to do. But I'm still gonna try and get some shots today anyway. Mainly because I would like to feel like my crappy night's sleep last night it was for a reason. So I need to take some pictures this morning to justify staying here last night. But truth be told, I am anxious to get home and sleep in a real bed because I am tired. Alright, let's see what we can get. Well, I told myself I'd do 4x5 this morning because uh, I've been doing a lot of panoramas on this trip and truthfully, the panoramas are frustrating and tough. Um, so, I told myself I'd do 4x5 to keep it easy on myself this morning, but um, apparently I can't kick these panoramas. Uh, I'm addicted to them. So, I'm doing a panorama this morning. I have some beautiful rocks uh, in the foreground and uh, just waiting for that morning light on the Sierras and hopefully it'll be uh, just as I envision it. Time will tell. It's a very small window in early morning when the light actually looks its best on the Eastern Sierras. So I have to meter and figure out my filters in just a matter of a couple of minutes, otherwise the light will be past its prime. I was using a fine grain, high saturation film, Fuji Velvia, which has an ISO rating of 50. That meant my exposures had to be in the neighborhood of 4 to 8 seconds. I also used two split neutral density filters manufactured by Lee that totaled about four or five stops. These filters allowed me to capture the correct exposure in the shadowed foreground and in the sunlit background. The amount of detail you can capture with this large 6x17 film format is pretty incredible. As you can see rising in the background here is Mount Whitney. It's the tallest peak in the continental U.S. at just over 14,500 feet. It looks pretty majestic under the first light of sunrise. When all was said and done, this was actually my favorite composition from the trip. I feel like it captured the amazing juxtaposition of rock and light that you can really only find here. There's just no other place like it on the planet. All right, well, it's been a beautiful sunrise. I <clears throat> finished a whole roll already. Um, the light hitting the back of the mountains behind me, you see, is uh, quite beautiful. So I've done uh, six frames of the same composition horizontally, um, just catching the light as it makes its way down the mountain. But uh, I'm going to save my last two frames of my last roll for uh, when the light actually gets down low enough to get on these rocks uh, down at the bottom, because I think they might might look kind of pretty with uh, sunlight hitting the rocks and the mountains, so that way I'll have uh, both varieties. But um, if they're going to come out the way I envisioned, uh, I think I'll probably like the ones from the earliest part of the morning, uh, where the sunlight was just barely at the top of the mountains and is real pink. But um, but all in all, pretty beautiful morning. I, I kept my cool. I didn't panic, uh, which is good because when that light starts changing, it's easy to get a uh, get real freaked out and uh, start making mistakes, but, but luckily I kept my cool. I guess I figured, eh, it's the end of the trip. If I don't get any shots, hopefully uh, something from earlier in the trip came out. But now I'm just going to wait for the light to start making its way down until it's covering those, those rocks. Good landscape photography is really about getting into the right place and then waiting for the right time. So. That's what I had to do here as I was waiting for the light to make its way down to the rocks in the foreground. Uh, I kind of just got to kill some time. So if you get antsy and start doing too many things, then you'll end up missing the light. So a lot of it's just uh, walking around waiting for the light to, to get where you need it. But luckily my uh, diligent waiting paid off. Uh, the light made its way down to the rocks in the foreground and created some very nice warm side lighting. It's the same composition as the previous shot, but very different light, 
And you can see it brings out a lot more texture, but it has a very different mood overall. Well, that brings us to the end of the trip. About 7.20 in the morning on my last day here. Just finished up uh, photos at sunrise here. And um, all in all, I think it was a pretty good trip. Uh, won't know for sure until I get the photos back. So it's time to get back to the office, uh, develop the black and white film, and get the color film developed at my local lab. Take a look at the photos and see how I did. Hopefully uh, over the course of the three days I had here that maybe I got one or two uh, keepers um, that I would like to share with the world. But thanks for coming along with me on this trip to the Alabama Hills Recreation Area just outside of Lone Pine, California. Uh, be sure to check a link in the information section of this video for a link to the blog post where I'll be posting the, the photos from this trip. So you can take a look at, uh, at what I got, what went behind it. So thanks for watching. Visit my website at nickcarverphotography.com. I'm Nick Carver, and uh, until next time.